Hello there, I am Giant Quotal with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we took on the Candle Life City Gym and got our 6 gym badge. We battled Byron. It was a pretty easy fight, really. And we battled all the trainers in the gym, too. So now we um, were told by Sam to come to the library with him. So yeah. But I want to make something clear. I'm sorry that I'm so indecisive. I just. I'm not sure, but now I am sure. So, Rose's final moveset will actually be, again, uh, the original one I planned on it to match my play th practice file. Um, uh, it'll know um, Petal Dance, Shadow Ball, Giga Drain, and, and, um, and Sludge Bomb. So, um, I'll get rid of Poison Jab and replace it with Sludge Bomb because Sludge Bomb is. Um, Pa base power is 90 and only and has 10 pp but um it still has 10 more power base power than uh poison jab with because poison jab has 80 base power and then i'm gonna get rid of magic leaf with pedal dance because pedal dance has 90 power and um it's really powerful of grass type move and uh even though i get confused even though rose gets confused after like three turns of using it i mean it's still a good really it's still a really good move so uh, sorry that I'm so indecisive on that, I'm just, I want the best for Rose, I guess, but I was really unsure, but now I'm sure, as I said before. So let's go in the library, now that that's all over with. So let's go up the stairs, oh wait, we can talk to the person in the, the counter though, just be polite. Hello, this is the Kenilworth Library, please keep quiet while you're on the premises. Okay. So going up the stairs, and let's go up the stairs again, <laughs> another staircase. Hey Steven, over the, the, here, this way. Oh look, it's Professor Owen and Dawn. Okay Gramps, I brought Steven like I said. Alright, I'm out of here. I'll, I'll be out of here. Okay, I get it. Hmm, everyone's here finally. Steven, everyone listen. You may have forgotten already, but I study the evolution of Pokemon. Uh, by... But the more I study, the more mysterious appear... The more mysteries appear and multiply. Pokemon that evolve and those that don't. Uh, what does... What makes th them different from each other? Do those that are immature as living beings evolve two ones more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon are complete as creatures? This is where you to be coming. In the three lakes of Sinnoh, there are said to be Meringue Pokemon, Mirage Pokemon. Uh, if we c can obtain data of them, it may shed some light on how the uh, process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one. Each one. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be mirages. Sam. Uh, okay. Sam says, "Um, what are you? Ta what are you saying? I didn't get a po. I get. I didn't get no Pokedex." And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give you a Pokedex? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you in becoming a better trainer too. You can count on me. I'll. I, it will help with my Pokedex too. Steven, you'll go too, won't you? Hmm. I would have made all of the made all of you go regardless anyway. Now, there are three lakes. Uh, fortunately, there are three of you. You should therefore, you should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Dawn, you go to Lake Verity. Will do. Sam, I want you to go to investigate Lake Aquity. That would take you almost to Snowpoint City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Um, yeah, of course, Gramps. You know it. How to how to call it? You can tell I'm the hottest, and that leaves Steven with Lake Veloa. Um, the lake is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Oh man, what's that? Oh man, earthquake. Has it stopped? All of you unharmed? 
Let's go outside, but be careful. I'm concerned about the city. Stephen, hurry along, be, but be aware of aftershocks. Okay. Let's talk to some people about that. I feel wobbly. Even though the tremor, the tremor has ended, I, my knees still feel like jelly. So yeah, they're not so happy about the earthquake either. They're kind of scared. Um, what was that? What was that? An earthquake? I didn't imagine it. No, nope, it happened, apparently. I have to go see what happened, though. Yeah, check the city, like Rowan said. Oh, I didn't want to go up the stairs. Okay. Let's make our way downstairs again and outside of the library. Rowan's all shocked. That tremor, it wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, 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 old dude and kid, something big just happened. They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Veloy. Kaboom! Like that. Gramps, I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. And, and Sam just runs off. Uh, that's Sam. Can't sit still. Steven, I'm worried about Lake Veloy. But I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, let me stress. Don't get into don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. Steven, you'll be okay, won't you? Yeah, I guess. So apparently I'm going to the lake that just blew up or something, so you know. But first before I do that, I wanna actually um go to um where do I wanna go? Eternity City, yeah. Cause I wanna um catch my final team member right here right now. So let's do that. Because now that we can use strength outside of battle, we can actually catch the um, find my final team member that I want to use. So yeah. Let's just make our way down there, I guess. We're gonna use cycling road. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I should put a pal on though. Let me do that. Let me check out if I have plenty of Pokeballs too. I should have done that earlier. Yeah, 10 Pokeballs. Okay, that's good. I should be fine. So if you remember um, that part in uh, that other entrance to the Wayward Cave, um, that was uh, we couldn't really enter because of the um, because of um, I need a Pokemon with a Flash too. Dang it! Well, do I need a Pokemon with a Flash? I think I do, but let me check. I'm trying to find the entrance there. How can I not find the entrance? Oh, it's right here, I think, yeah. It's one of the... I'll find it eventually. There we go, I found it. So yeah, let's, um, use strength. And this part still- okay, good, I don't need flash, good. I was getting away there for a second. So let's get on our bicycle and go up this slope. Gotta change the gear. There we go. Is there an item over here? I have a pill off, okay. So I'm gonna actually switch um, to Beck because my Pokemon are kind of a level for this area, and the Pokemon I want will probably be in the like twenties. So let's see if we can find it. That wasn't it. I still haven't found it. I mean, that's kind of uncommon. I found it, yay! Yeah, I'm gonna use a Gibble. 
I know a lot of people use Gibble, but I want to try Gibble, and I really liked it in my practice run, so why not give it a shot? I'm going to try it with, I'm going to weaken it down with Cut first, see how much that does. Okay, just that much. I'm going to try a Rock Smash, and hopefully it won't faint it. Okay, let's get a Standstorm, okay. Cool. Rock smash attack. There we go, cool. Sandstorm, but it failed, okay. Let's use a Pokeball. Oh man, I broke free. Okay, sand attack, okay. Let's use another Pokeball. I wish I could put like a status conditioning move on it, but. This is the best I got. Oh, that's it took twice that time. Okay, I'm gonna try one more Pokeball, and if I don't catch it in that Pokeball, I'll try a Great Ball. Let's see if this works. One. Two. Oh man. Doesn't seem to want to be caught in a Pokeball. Okay, I see how it is. It's just a Great Ball then. Great Balls. Work, I guess. Let's see if this will work. One. Are you kidding me? A Great Ball only shook once. <laughs> I really wish I could, like, paralyze it or, um, you know, put it to sleep or something like that, but. I don't have any moves like that anymore, you know? Rose doesn't have Stunt Spore anymore. And I think, since the Stunt Spore is like... I think, yeah, Stunt Spore is a grass type move, so it would actually affect it. I was thinking about like Thunder Wave, because like, Gibble is half ground type. Half dragon, so... Yeah. One, two... Oh my gosh, I'm having so much trouble catching this thing. I don't want to use... I, I could use my Ultra Ball, but... I'm afraid that Ultra Ball might not even catch it if I'm not having to look with the Great Balls. Or Poke Balls, you know? Hopefully I can catch it soon. I mean, Gibble's catch rate is pretty uh, low, actually. Three... There we go, we caught it. Nice. Well, it's not, it's not high and it's not low, it's kind of like more low than high, I guess you could say. I'll put a text over, um, like, that shows what Gibble's catch rate is, just so, um, you can see how kind of in the middle it is. Giving a name to Gibble, yes, okay. I'm gonna name it after, um, if you guys ever, if you guys ever, um, watch the show Bakugan, on Cartoon Network, then uh, you'll get this nickname. I'm gonna name it Drago, cause um, that's what Dan's uh, nick. Well, his Bakugan was Dragonoid, his main Bakugan. Um, but he nicknamed it. He also called it by a nickname called Drago. Like he was also like Bakugan Brawl, Bakugan or er, Drago Stand. <laughs> if you guys remember that, I mean Bakugan really wasn't that popular. That's like you know. Yokai watcher Pokemon nowadays, but it was still a good show. I liked it, but now I don't really watch it honestly. I don't know if it's on at all still. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we got um a, a Gibble, but it's in the PC. So let's put another Pell on, because I want to actually get a couple items in a TM. I think TM twenty six Earthquake is in here too. I know it is actually. So let's see if we can get it. So we have to go up this slope again, or go up another slope. Okay, these ramps things, we have to be careful. 
Yeah, switch the gears. Okay, that wasn't working. Okay. That didn't quite work. Gotta switch the gears again. There we go. Nice. Have to go with the oh I messed it up. We have to go back all the way back around. Ah it stinks. Okay. If I can do this right. Dang it, I have to go up one more. Wait, I could just yeah, I messed it up again. I came up too short again. Oh man, I missed. Oh my gosh, this D pad. I pull off. Here we go. We got a max ether. I think we have to go all the way back around there now. There we go, I'm gonna do that. Switch the gears again until it's slower. Okay, so you have to switch gears again. And go up here. And... I guess we can go this way. To get this item. Here's a grip claw. I don't know exactly what that does, so I'll look up on the description for that. Um, a Pokemon hold on him that extends the duration of multi-turn attacks like Bind and Whip. Okay, that's cool. Okay, now we can go up this slope right here. Okay, so... Dang it, um, oh we can actually just hop over the ledge here. Okay, I'm gonna put another pro on though. I was at the top of this bag or pocket, I should say. So that's good, I guess. There we go. A revive, nice. Okay, so let's just. Dang it, that wasn't the right gear. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now this one's hard, because I have to, like. There we go, I did it on the first try, wow. Don't accidentally go over this ledge though. Because if you go all the way over here and up these stairs, you can get um, this item, which is Team 26 Earthquake. So yeah, that's really nice. So let's use an escape rope to get out of here, actually. I have five escape ropes, so that's good. I'm spinning around on my bicycle. Okay, so um, let's fly back to um, Pastoria City actually, because that's where um, Lake Valor is right here. So we have, the closest city is Pastoria City, so let's do that. Let's fly to Pastoria City. I'm going to heal up um, and deposit back and get um, Drago out of the PC. Okay, let's check out the cool summary for Drago now. So, um, let's see, it's, uh, quiet in nature, um, it likes dry food, uh, hates to lose, okay, it likes dry food, okay, the ability Sandville boosts the Pokemon's evasion in the Sandstorm, so, like, uh, Drago does know Sandstorm right there, so that's pretty cool, you know, Sand Attack, Dragon Rage, Sandstorm, and Takedown, so, yeah, so only level 16, so, actually, I'm gonna give it the experience, sure, because, to level it up and catch it up with everyone's levels. It's gonna take, it's gonna take quite a bit of time to um, catch up with everyone else, but that's okay. Let's give, um, dang it, I wanted to go to item, give, and let's see, I was gonna give back the rose and this to rose. So, yeah. There we go, okay. And I'm gonna, I was, I was gonna give the one Drago is all caught up with everyone's levels and doesn't need the expansion anymore. I was gonna give it the, um, Dra Drago plate, which is somewhere in here, yeah, to, which raises the power of dragon type moves, but because uh, that's what we got all the way back in Eternity City the first time we went, got to Eternity City, so that's pretty cool. But for right now, I'm gonna give it the experience here. 
So, yeah, let's, um, go to the Veloa Lakefront of, uh, yeah, the Veloa Lakefront for Lake Verity. Or not Lake Verity, but Lake Veloa. Okay, we'll pull off, of course, right there. So let's just walk and hopefully we don't run into the Pokemon. Yes, that's cool. We didn't run into Pokemon. Yeah, Gudrago's only level 16, so we're gonna have to do some training or, you know, use the expansion and stuff. And hopefully it'll catch up in levels eventually with my team, with the rest of the team. That person still walked out of the hotel, I'm sorry. <laughs> So here's the Veloa Lakefront. Lake Veloa is here. Oh, it's Team Galactic because look, music, look, they're right here. They're behind, uh, blowing up the lake. So, um, this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part. And the next part will take on the Lake Veloa, Lake Veloa and hopefully stop Team Galactic here. So yeah, this has been Dranko again. I would like to thank for checking again. Goodbye. And I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide. Thank you.